Hi guys, this is Tony from the Road Shut again. Um, we've uh, just in the process of setting up our macro panacea tub. Um, uh, we've we've had it set up before. This is a clean one now. Uh, in here we've got some uh, sand and uh, it's like horticultural sand and a a compost mix. I'm saying it's a compost, but it's more of a um, an organic material um, there's no fertilizers uh, or anything that's been added to it it's just broken down sort of um, barks and stuff like that that are not poisonous to our macropanaceas so they've got a, a good medium to but because it's damp it will clump together so it, it should be enough for them to be able to uh, to bury in uh, over the top and we've got a bit of uh, leaf litter and things like that We've got some leaves. In our Macropanacea tubs, we um, still give a little bit of roach chow and water crystals, but um, they mainly feed on things like um, eucalyptus leaves is one of their favorites. They will take oak leaves as well, but we do offer the roach chow because occasionally they will take it. Now, our Macropanaceas rhinoceros are in here at the moment and we're going to put these there we go we're going to put these into into this tub when it warms up a little bit um, there's a nice male there as you can see uh, he's about five six year old um, we've got eight in here in total we've got six females and two males in this tub as you can see there is another male and um, females are also around here if I can catch her and there's one there as you can see they are hiding from me there's one here so they you know they're the heaviest cockroach species in the world they come from Queensland Australia and these guys also came direct from there as well um, they were imported by myself um, again there's another female there's one here one there so there's two in total there there's a third one there so we've got you know quite a lot here there's two there look and another one there there's eight in total anyway um, all these leaves and, and top dressings and stuff is going to end up in that tub. Um, I just want the soil um, uh, to get to the correct temperature before I add them uh, back in because obviously clean soil and everything does tend to, to, to be cold because it's kept outside. But essentially that's how we keep them. Uh, on the top we will, um, on the top then we have a lid and it's just got a very small hole. Uh, just a you know literally a, um, a little bit bigger than maybe a, a sort of CD cover and the reason for that is we want to keep the humidity and the moisture in this soil we don't want it drying out too much um, because if it dries out then the tunnels that they will dig will collapse um, so the whole idea behind that is keep this soil moist if it gets too dry we can spray it and all we do for that one of these little spray bottles Okay, this one came from B and Q. It was, as you can see, it was three quid. It's a two liter spray bottle, and we just spray, just spray the surface like that, and just to moisten it down. Um, but again, like I said, you know, this is this is uh, moist enough now. It's a it's a fresh new tab for them that we've set up. Um, there are people who will keep them differently. If you notice, what we've done is actually, I don't know if you can see it here, but we've banked the earth. You might see a bit from the side. There we go, that's a better picture. We've actually banked the earth uh, here, so it climbs right up over there. Rather than having a, a full tub, um, we decide to bank it like this, because these tubs obviously, there's a lot of weight in here. As you can see under there, it's already bowing, so we don't want to put too much weight in. Um, but it's giving them a chance to burrow into this quite deep, uh, uh, you know, and come out, they can get their leaves and what have you. Um, We've got eucalyptus leaves. Um, there we go. There's, there's one they've been nibbling on there. 
okay and these need to be dead leaves uh, you can use things like oak and beech uh, any hardwood again these must be old leaves now you can see this one's a little bit green but at the time I collected these leaves um, there was none that started falling they've all fallen now and and what have you with the, the time of the year but you can dry these in an oven as long as they go crisp and dry they're fine for them to eat uh, as you can see there's some other ones oak leaves that are you know well dry um, but we've got bits of bark here which is from the eucalyptus tree because they feed on that um, there are other eucalyptus leaves we also have um, a eucalyptus leaf which is all crushed up um, which is sold for tea we've been unable to buy these whole eucalypt eucalyptus leaves lately so um, what we've uh, decided to do is to get some of these crushed up ones I'm not too fussed with them however we're in the process of looking at buying a couple of eucalyptus trees so that we've constantly got a supply and maybe we'll offer them for sale then on on the site once we've bought the trees and, and got them planted up and everything else um, so essentially guys that's it um, they'll, they'll come into this tub it's still a little bit cold at the moment temperature's not quite right so um, we're going to leave them for now and uh, and then we'll uh, come back to them uh, when we're ready later on this evening or something uh, for now they'll be fine in that tub because the temperature is perfect in the in the hut um, and, and that's it uh, we've got a couple of other things going to be going on we've got some tsunami uh, roaches and things like that coming in and uh, some Madeira uh, you know so you know things are starting to take off at the roach now with as far as other species are going um, we're hoping that these macro um, uh are going to uh, have some live young over the next few weeks uh, like I said we've got six females and two males and um, we don't know whether or not they've we've only recently had these this this particular batch and we don't know whether or not they've they've laid their young yet usually it's between the beginning of october and end of november that they'll lay um or that they'll give birth so um we're hoping that we will get some limbs out and be able to offer them next year uh oh here's the um here's the eucalyptus leaves that is sold for tea but it's just basically dried and crushed eucalyptus leaves um, I'm not too fussed with them they're a little bit fine for what I want but we will add them to the tub because the, you know the, the roaches do like them And um, but w like I said we're in the process of sourcing a couple of trees that we can uh, that we can plant up and, uh, and we'll have a constant supply uh, that's it for this video guys and uh, if you have any questions you know how to get hold of us cheers